Welcome to Get Glimpse channel. You want to share chat GPT with your friends or a study group, but there is no add user button. So how do you collaborate without giving away your password? Let's be real, sharing your password is risky. So these are some of the cons of sharing your chat GPT login. Others can see or delete your chat history. Your payment info, if you are on Plus or Pro, is actually exposed. They can access your saved custom GPTs and settings. But these are the pros of collaborative use. Shared brainstorming, faster group research, centralized study or project work. That's why OpenAI offers a smarter way. It's called Teams. Here's how to set it up. Go to platform.openai.com. Now go ahead and sign in with your ChatGPT email. Click your profile name located at the top right corner. Now select Invite Team, then click Invite Members. Enter your friend's email addresses, and you can now go ahead and assign roles, either owner or reader. Once they accept, you have created a shared workspace, no password sharing required. This setup is perfect for group research, study projects, exam preparation, real-time idea sharing. Everyone uses ChatGPT in the same space without juggling charts or screenshots. It saves time and keeps me sharp, like having a personal tutor 24-7. If you are using specific documents like PDFs, slides, or Google Docs, Check out Notebook LM by Google. It's not as flexible as ChatGPT, but it's focused purely on your uploaded documents. It's great for focused, source-based learning. So here's the bottom line. Don't share your password. Use the Teams feature instead. It's safer, more organized, and built for collaboration. Whether you are solo or in a group, ChatGPT can help you understand faster, study smarter, build guides, quizzes, and more and more, adapt to your unique style as well. And here are some takeaway tips for you. Tip number one is to use role-based access. When inviting friends to your ChatGPT team, assign a reader for viewing access and honor if they need to manage members or settings. This helps avoid accidental changes to your shared space. Also, the second tip is to create shared prompt templates. Store commonly used prompts like summarize this in bullet points or quiz me on this topic in a shared doc or notion page for everyone to reuse. It saves time and keeps your approach consistent. The third tip is to organize roles. Assign each person in your group a role like question asker, note uploader, or prompt editor to streamline collaboration and avoid overlap. Also, combine with Google Docs or Notion, while ChatGPT is great for answering and generating, use Docs or Notion to track tasks, summarize findings, and comment on each other's questions or answers. This builds a real-time study workflow. Another tip is to create a custom GPT for your group. If you are on ChatGPT+, use the custom GPT builder to make a version turned to your group's tone, subject, and preferred response style. An example of this is a GPT that always explains in diagrams and bullet points. And finally, this is the final tip. Use Notebook LM for document-only learning. When you only want AI to refer to PDFs or slides you provide, use Notebook LM. It stays in bounds and never brings in unrelated info, unlike ChatGPT's general model. And yeah, that's all about it. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.